vocabulary. Choose the word that matches the definition you hear. Be sure to choose the best answer quickly and carefully. If you don't know it, we'll move to the next one. Before moving to the next one, the shadow of the buttons will turn green, yellow, and then red. Try one for practice. Already begin practice. Choose the word that means not happy. Um, sad. Remember, choose the best answer quickly and carefully. The shadow of the buttons will turn green, yellow, and then red before moving to the next one. Choose this button to begin the activity. All right, start test. Choose the word that means to make something smaller. Uh, transfer? Choose the word that means an idea that you make in your mind. Um, lesson? Choose the word that means to find something. Hmm, contribute? Choose the word that means forever. Um, later. Choose the word that means to help someone. Hmm, pretend? Choose the word that means the reason for doing something. Purpose? Choose the word that means to have questions about something. Um, observe? Choose the word that means having all the parts you need. Um, excellent. Choose the word that means to start something. Okay, correct. Choose the word that means a long way off. Out. Choose the word that means to make something. Um, create. Choose the word that means to be done with something. Remove. Choose the word that means to group things in one place. Collect. Choose the word that means the opposite of right. Back. Choose the word that means a mark that tells you the name of something. Um, value. Choose the word that means something that happens. Um, image. Choose the word that means to say what something is like. Um, connect. Choose the word that means not controlled by anything. Hmm, free. Choose the word that means more than two, but not many. Hmm, similar. Choose the word that means to make something happen. Point. Choose the word that means not as much as something. Um, less. Choose the word that means all set to do something. Public. Choose the word that means to answer. Impress. Choose the word that means different from what is normal. Um, agent. Choose the word that means one of a kind. Um, unique. Choose the word that means the same and on the same level. Um, right. Choose the word that means to put things in order. Um, duplicate. Choose the word that means to find where something is. Include. Choose the word that means to ask for something. Hmm. Surprise. Choose the word that means to talk about something. Welcome. Test is completed. Yeah, I told you I got right. Alrighty, screening tests by select uh, a test to begin. Alrighty, so which one should I choose? Alrighty. I want to choose that one. You will see some math problems. There are many different types. Some will be hard and some will be easy. Do your best and try to answer each problem. If you come to a problem that you do not know, skip that item and try the next one. Be sure to do your best and try to answer as many problems as you can.
Mm. Alrighty. CB Math by CAP. It says, hello, Joshua Rutherford. Okay, it has from the glasses on, and it looks like from, from the girl who is wearing the bow and plays a game, like a toy or something. Alrighty, let's get started on this. Here is a picture of a cat and a dog. Choose the picture of the cat. Move the pointer so it is on top of the button next to the cat. This is how you choose answers, by clicking on the button next to the answer you want. Click on the green arrow to go to the next page. Um, I don't want to pick cat. I just want to pick dog, I guess. It might be a letter B. All right, in the next one. Some questions will need you to use a keypad like this to choose your answer. You put your pointer on top of the number you want and click, and it shows up in the box. The arrow key is to erase if you hit the wrong number. Let's try it. Type the number 15 into the answer box by using the keypad. Great job. Now let's begin our activity. Do the best you can and I'll see you again at the end. Yeah, I already put 15. Alrighty, the next one. Try to do as many problems as you can. If you come to a problem that is difficult or might take a long time, skip it and try it at the end. Try that now. Select skip, try it at the end. Skip, try it at the end. I can't press it. I can't press it. Like, skip. Try at the end. All right. Try to the next one from the green arrow. If you come to a problem that you do not know and you do not want to try later, click skip. I don't know it. Try that now. Select skip. I do not know it. Uh, <laughs> I can't press skip. I don't know it neither. <laughs> All right. Skip. I don't know it. All right. I can't press that one, and I can't press that one. Alrighty. Time for the questions to, be to begin. Choose the best answer. Choose the best answer. Choose the best answer. The area of a square is 49 square inches. What is the length of one side of the square? Uh, I don't think I don't know this one. I think it might be 50, I guess. Michael draws a straight line on a graph that passes through the point 0, 3. Choose the equation that best fits Michael's line. Uh, I think I might have to pick D. Alrighty. Choose the best answer. One solution. Triangle DEF has an angle D measuring 25 degrees and an angle E measuring 50 degrees. What is the measure of angle F in degrees? This is kind of hard one. Um, it might be 90. Choose the best answer. Uh, nine. A rhombus has a side length of six centimeters and a height of two centimeters. What is the area of the rhombus in centimeters squared? Uh, let me look from the... Actually, never mind. I'm not going to look for cal like calculator on my phone. Alrighty, six. Six plus two is... I think it might be eight. Choose the best answer. A tree is 15 feet tall. A bird is sitting on a grass eight feet um, away from the tree. How many far and feet will the bird have to fly to get to the top of the tree? Hmm. 15, uh, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 
Okay, 23. What is the volume of a cylinder with a base area of 10 units squared and a height of 7 units in units cubed? Um, 17. Solve to find x. 7, um, 7x seven minus 12 equals... Ooh, this is a kind of hard one. Yeah. Mark mows lawns for $25 each lawn, plus $5 for every hour he spends mowing. The equation for his total earnings per lawn is y equals 25 plus 5h, where y represents his total earnings and h represents the number of hours he works. What does the flat pay of $25 represent in this situation? Uh, depended variable. Choose the best answer. Uh, it might be 16. Lines 1 and 2 are parallel. What is the measure of angle 3 in degrees? Uh, I don't know this one. Which function listed below has a greater rate of change than the one in the graph? C. Choose the best answer. What is the value of the y-intercept for all proportional relationships? A. What answer shows the parallel lines graphed above after a rotation around the origin? B. What could you do to the volume of a cylinder to get the volume of a cone with the same circular face? Multiply the four. Choose the best answer. Um... What is the result, resulting product of 4 times 8 is description of the product? I think it might be 24 um, rational. A cube has an edge measuring 7 inches. What is the volume of the cube in inches cubed? Um, 8, I guess. The Earth is approximately 8.0 times 10 cubed miles in diameter from pole to pole. What number is the distance equivalent to? 80,000 miles. Choose the best answer. The diameter of a cylinder is 4 centimeters. The height is 12 centimeters. Using 3.14 for pi, what is the volume of the cylinder in centimeters cubed? Round to the nearest hundredth. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, sixteen. Congratulations, Rutherford Joshua. You have successfully completed the activity. You can leave the station now. Exit test. Looks like I already finished. Yeah, I might have to show for the girls. Yes, I think I already finished. Yep, I might have to tell for the girls. <laughs>